This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I review the Rockwood Mini Light 2506S. This specific unit has a dry weight of 5,187 pounds. Perfect for my Chevy Colorado truck. I like this unit. I like it a lot. Here's the layout. It has a queen bed in the back and it has a door that you have a little bit of privacy. And of course the kitchen is up front. Let's start with the front here. I really like how this unit looks. You get uh, two 30 pound propane tanks. You'll never be lacking uh, for propane. This unit has a power tongue jack, also has a little light, very convenient. Again, this unit weighs only 5,187 pounds dry. Has a little scissor jack back there so you get stabilized. And uh, has area in the front there for at least two batteries. And that's the uh, shower area, a little outdoor shower. This slide is humongous. It's a long, big, fat slide. It's very nice, has windows on each side. And of course, again, that's the uh, front automotive style uh, windshield. Deeply tinted. Let me go behind the sofa here, the dinette rather. It has a magnetic latch there, so it holds up the door. And again, it's, uh, you can see the aluminum construction. This unit is incredibly well built. Over here is a little table that you can attach on the side of the unit, the other side of the unit. So you can uh, place your dishes there. And it's a great uh, accessory uh, when you're grilling outside. Beautiful rims and uh, fantastic tires. Let's take a peek underneath. That's the uh, enclosed and heated underbelly. Of course this unit has Torflex suspension and an upgraded suspension and there's a termination for the black and the gray. It has a jealousy awning style uh, frameless windows. There you can connect your cable or satellite and there's your connection for your 30 amp plug. Includes a ladder to get on the roof. That's always a good thing. I saw this unit at Funtown RV in Claiborne. I'd like to thank the folks at Funtown for being so nice to me. They are the best people in the universe. There's an area where they stow the tire, and of course that bumper could be used to store your stinky slinky. And back here, the, that's not a coffin. <laughs> that's a sliding storage, similar to like a Lance uh, travel trailers. They have those also and other manufacturers. Uh, just take off that little hinge there, that little lock rather, and you can put all kinds of good stuff on there. It does teeter a little bit, so you gotta be careful, uh, but it comes out quite a way, as long as you don't overload it. This uh, little uh, storage area is right under the master bedroom. Very convenient, don't you think so? There's some of your water connections, and of course all the lights on the exterior and interior are LED, saving you on your electricity. There's a water heater. And uh, this is where they keep the uh, Outdoor grill, and it's a very nice outdoor grill. I really like this outdoor grill. And a small refrigerator. I'm not gonna open up the refrigerator, but I'm gonna show you the grill at least. It has a little shelf there. So you got a smallish uh, refrigerator and this outdoor grill. And uh, let me open up these little latches. This is not your typical, you know, simple two burner propane stove. This one you can uh, grill some serious steaks and uh, don't you like that? I like it quite a bit. I really think this is a fantastic option. There's a control for the heat. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll greatly appreciate it. Let me put this back in. That's metal. This isn't plastic. This isn't uh, you know, some weird material. This is solid steel, if I remember correctly. And there's that shelf. And there's the refrigerator. Let me close this door. That's held up by magnetic latches. So I'm gonna bang you on your head. <laughs> you know, won't bang your noggin. So let's go check out some other stuff. Again, that's a nice shot of those rims. I get fixated by nice rims. It's a it's one of my bad habits. That's where you can put that little uh, metal table that I showed you on the other side. It hangs right there, and it's a definite bonus. And if you're plugged into a uh, short power or have a generator, you can have some AC right there, alternating current. And that's the exhaust for the heater, and that's the back end of the refrigerator. Again, this is the Rockwood 2506 Est by uh, Forest River. And that's the new style steps. These are super stable. Uh, when you go inside the unit, you won't bounce around. It won't you know, all of a sudden when you step inside, it will bounce and the place starts moving left and right and sideways and up and down and all that. And this is right behind the uh, kitchen area. It has a little Lazy Susan that you can access uh, through the other side of that. I don't know if I like that, but it's an option. You can keep it or you can just yank it out and do something else there. There's the bottom of the kitchen sinks and also your plumbing. So what do you think of this contraption, the little Lazy Susan, this double Lazy Susan? I think it takes up too much space personally, but then again, what do I know? Maybe you like it and you say, hey, fantastic. And here's a shot of the awning. And uh, this unit comes with all kinds of great contrivances. Yeah, especially, I really love this uh, series of steps. Let's go inside. As in-floor ducted heating. So here's a view from the kitchen looking towards the bedroom. And uh, a lot of state-of-the-art stuff in this unit, not no cheap stuff. This I really like these IRV Technologies uh, radios. They are a step above a lot of the other manufacturers. And here's a great spot to charge your phone, your tablets, uh, your computers, and a has a very nice furry on big screen TV and also a sound bar. Wow, I love it. And they have this little bungee center. It's only like about an inch thick. <laughs> so you can't put much back there, maybe a magazine or who knows what. Then they have a little heater down there, a little, uh, little ambiance heater. Looks like a little fireplace. And let's pan up. This is the refrigerator, it has the uh, paneling on the outside. That's sort of like a thing that. Uh, Rockwood does and Flagstaff does. Nice little refrigerator. I think this is eight cubic feet and it sort of bangs on the TV. Not a good thing. <laughs> Banging on the TV with the refrigerator, that TV's not going to make it very long. I would put some sort of a door stopper so it stops that door from hitting that TV. So this is the inside of the refrigerator. Very nice. I like it. Do you like it? That's what's most important. I want to buy this you know, this travel trailer. I really like it. Seriously, I really like it. Yeah, all I got to do is get my wife on board. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be tough. So you have some uh, GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupting uh, outlets there, and all kinds of uh, controls here for your porch lights, your interior lights, your awning, check your water, etc., etc. Don't forget, you can pause this video at any time to look at certain video elements that you find interesting. It's a nice little area for prep. And if you're not using it for prep, you can fold it back. And there's your three burner stove top. And it has a very nice grill. Not some cheap grill, a very nice grill. It looks like it's porcelain glazed. And this is one of the biggest ovens I've seen in a small travel trailer ever. Look at that. That's monstrous. That's a good size. Good enough to, you know, roast a turkey in there, I'm pretty sure. It just flips down. I don't know what you're going to put in that space. Oh, it's up to you what you want to put in there. You can put some odds and ends. 
or ends and odds, it's up to you. So let me back up and show you this kitchen again. Uh, there's the uh, faucet and the cabinets, the microwave on the right. It's a rudimentary microwave, it's probably 0.9 or maybe it's 1.1 cubic feet. I do not know. These are questions for your Rockwood dealer, or you can always contact the folks at Rockwood Flagstaff and they'll tell you what's up. This comes with all kinds of options. Again, you, <laughs> I seriously suggest that you talk to your salesman because they, some come with stuff, some don't come with stuff. And we all like stuff, but some of us don't like paying for that stuff. Good storage back there. It's uh, that, those uh, those styles are essentially uh, you know, particle board with some vinyl wrap on. Door fronts, fronts are, are solid, solid wood. wood. Solid, solid wood. wood. Very nice. Yeah, my, I have a truck. I have a Chevy Colorado with a V6 that can tow 7,000 pounds. This thing weighs under 5,200 pounds as long as I don't overload it. I'm pretty sure I can take it anywhere I want. And that's not too long. It's under 26 feet. I really like this unit. Has two stainless steel sinks. Previously on earlier models, they had plastic sinks. Yuck. Who wants a plastic sink? You pour the hot water in there and it's sort of... Uh, deforms the plastic. Again, that's that uh, lazy Susan that you saw from the other side. Nice solid, you know, plywood box to drawers with solid wood fronts, nice little handles. There's some more storage under there. What would you do with the storage? You could put your chemicals in there on the bottom part and top part. You can put some other stuff. You gotta make sure those chemicals don't get close to your food because you don't want any cross-contamination that would not be nice and more storage over here this is a perfect spot for your Wheaties your post toasties your pancake mix uh, your you know all the good stuff that doesn't need to be frozen plenty of storage very nice excellent construction you get some uh, more plugs Receptacles down there. Ground fault circuit interruption. GFCI. And there's that gigantic U dinette. I think two adults can sleep on there. As long as they're reasonable size. As long as you're not basketball players. Or, you know, linemen for the NFL. You know, you can sleep on there. Just regular folks like me. And that's that nice table. I like the table. It's a laminate, but it's a top of the line laminate i really like how it looks and i've seen them on later model or you know older models and they really stand up i do like this little stitching pattern and here's a shot of the window valances nice little two-tone material little cloth with that uh, naga hide on the top i got the cabinets open for your viewing pleasure you can put some long items in there so you get four doors that's a nice little lamp right above the uh, dinette. And these drawers underneath the uh, dinette chairs, seating, are ginormous. They're absolutely fabulous. Great places to put uh, all your items that are rather large. So, perfect. Let's go uh, towards the restroom here. Out to the right to have a nice little uh, window. And as we enter here, you can see the uh, laminate countertops. And of course, it has a nice sink, a little plastic sink, and a little area where you can put your cup and your toothbrushes. So what do you think of plastic sinks? I'm not a big fan of them, but you know, that's where they save some money and some weight. This is uh, what they call the Neo Angle Shower. And of course they have these, um, this mechanism here in the shower that saves you water. Essentially recycles the water uh, that you know would come out cold and make sure it's hot enough uh, when you need to use it. There's an area where you can store stuff. And there's the uh, shower wand, a plastic one. Of course you can always upgrade it. It's up to you. It has a little Roman column theme and 
sir. It's very nice. It's a very nice uh, shower. This is your storage area. Great for your towels, uh, various linens, etc., etc. And you get this fantastic, uh, fabulous fan. I don't know what model it is, but uh, you can ask the people at the at the RV store, and they'll help you out. The medicine cabinets right there. Plenty of space for your your toothpaste, your combs, your brushes, whatever you want. You can put it up there. And there's a receptacle right there. I got a close up of the ground fault circuit interrupting. GFCI plug and that's some perfect space for your toilet paper and your chemicals and I'm sitting on the toilet and squeaking making noise because uh, it can't handle 175 pounds and there's a tight shot of the flooring and this unit has a porcelain toilet Wow I like porcelain toilets they're easier to clean let's head toward the bedroom and I like the fact that you can you know close that door that barn style door it's fabulous. You get all kinds of windows. You get a window there and a window there. Wow. Again, I really like this. If my wife would let me and uh, would let me out of my little room and let me buy this, uh, I would get it tomorrow. So you got a perfect little area there to put your machines, like a CPAP machine. There's the ventilation and some plugs and a drawer. And on this little corner here has the connections for the TV and also for the uh, alternating current receptacles. Get some more receptacles right here. They're all ground fault circuit interrupting. GFCI, got a lot of GFCI in this unit. That's your little shirt closet, your jacket closet. Has a little uh, area where you could hang things and of course the storage up top. So you can put your shirts, your pajamas, your undies, everything goes up there. And this, you can put your little jackets and your shirts. Perfect. When you get up in the morning and say, I'm going to put on this jacket. I'm going out for a hike. And I can have a lot of fun. So this comes out quite a ways. And uh, it will stop by that door, that uh, barn door. as it called? Barn style door. Sliding door. And what do you think of that fabric? Let me show you a tight shot of the headboard and the pillows. I saw this unit at Funtown RV Center in Claiborne, Texas. They are very nice people. They are very pleasant. They are very professional too. Please like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. This has been a review of the Rockwood Mini Light 2506S. I would buy this in a heartbeat. But first, again, like I told you earlier, I like to get along with my wife, and she has to give me the thumbs up. And uh, I'm going to butter her up this weekend. Maybe we'll go down there and buy it. Don't forget to check out my website, jmmgarza.com. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.